Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and iOS 13.2 beta one is here. Apple has released the first beta of 13.2 and it brings some really, really big features to iOS. So let's go ahead, talk about what's new on iOS 13.2 beta one and some of the biggest features that this beta brings to iOS 13. Now, one of the biggest features that iOS 13.2 beta one will bring to the iPhone 11 and the 11 pro, this will be a feature exclusive to these new iPhones is called Deep Fusion. Now, this is like a system on the camera app that will work only in the background. You won't be able to enable it or disable it, but it will work on the background and it will improve the quality of medium to low light images. This is different from the night mode that we got on the iPhone 11 Pro, but this works in the background. As I said, you won't be able to enable or disable this. This will only work in the background and it will be very, very effective on improving the quality of medium to low light pictures on the iPhone 11, 11 Pro and the 11 Pro Max. Also announced messages with Siri is now back. This has been a feature on the first few betas of iOS 13, but then Apple decided to remove it and now is back with iOS 13.2 beta one. Unfortunately, I don't have any AirPods right here to demonstrate this new feature, but what this actually will do is that it will announce any messages that you get through your AirPods, of course, using Siri. That's a really big feature and is very welcome to be back on iOS 13.2. There is a new section on the settings app. So if you go to settings, you go to privacy, right here, we'll find a new section called research. Now, if you go here, it tells you that if you want to participate in the research app studies, you will have to go ahead and download this app from the app store. So basically, if you want to do it, you will have this new section, but you will need to go ahead and download this app called research from the app store. There is now also a new animation when dismissing the volume hood. So you will see the volume hood right there. So once it goes away, you will see like a new animation. It gets smaller than just slides away. On the control center, when you tap on the volume slider right here, you will see that it doesn't show the iPhone there as a glyph anymore. So it used to show the iPhone. Now it just shows a speaker. The TV app on iOS 13.2 now has this like 3D style, 3D touch style. So basically you can 3D touch on things like thumbnails and stuff like that within the TV app on iOS 13.2 beta one. There's also a change on iPad OS 13.2. I haven't installed it yet on my iPad here, but I got this from Reddit, from iOS beta subreddit. So big thanks to the user that posted this. So there's a new section on the settings app called home screen and dock, where you will have all the options for the icons right here. Keep on today's use for the widgets and also the, the multitasking can be enabled from here. So that's basically it for this video, guys. These are some of the biggest new features and changes of iOS 13.2 beta one. Of course, there are a ton more and I will be discovering a ton more and will let you know about them on a future video. So that's it for now. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.